Hey what's up everyone, Kim here with today's Rockman 4 DLC review. In this video, we're looking at the Rewind single Testify by Rage Against the Machine. If you want a lie by the Temper Trap, then I will have that in a separate video tomorrow. But is this 1990 alternative rock single anything to play? Let's find out. The drum show starts with a long snare roll, which turns into the main beat of this art. It's a slow 2 beat on the green symbol, with extra hits on the snare, as well as some hits on the blue symbol here and there. This is more or less what you get until after the second chorus. But the beat doesn't feel repetitive since it gives you some subtle changes here and there, like adding more hits on the symbols, making it a cut up 4 8 beat. After the second chorus, you get a 4 8 beat on the hi-hat, with a lot of extra hits on the snare between the hits. And later you get a section with continuously pedaling, with double hits on the snare and blue tom on each kick. Other than that, it's not much else to say. I really enjoy the beats I got though, which is why I give the drum shot a 7.5 of the time. The bass shot is pretty much the same riffs over and over again. The chorus riff is a lot of single changes and short sustains, which was fun enough. But the verses are a mix of old strumming, signal changes and hammer-ons, before you get a long and measured breaks until it repeats, which wasn't super boring, but not exactly fun either. After the second chorus, you also get a lot of long and measured breaks, just with a lot of single changes between them instead of old strumming and hammer-ons. That's more or less it though. I must say that what you play in the shot is pretty fun, but the long and measured breaks did hurt the shot a little bit for me. I give the bass shot a 6 out of 10. The guitar shot is just like the bass and drum shot, repetitive. But like both those two other shots, the riffs you do get are pretty fun. It starts with a lot of all strumming though, which got a hammer on for every change in the college's drum on. This also is all of the verses. But the chorus riff is super fun, with a lot of singing lot and chord changes mixed in with shorter stains. So I enjoy the hell out of the choruses, but the verses was a little bit meh for me, probably because I kinda disliked the all strumming. After the second chorus, you get these three note all strumming sections, with a chord at the end and a very short break before you repeat it. This was kinda hard for me, and the solo wasn't easy either, since the notes changes a lot between the green note and the orange, sometimes very fast with hammer-ons. But overall I enjoyed this shot, even though some of the old streaming sections were pretty tough. I give the guitar shot a 7.5 out of 10. In summary, Testify is pretty good on all the instruments, just that they all were a bit repetitive in a good way, because all the repetitive sections was pretty enjoyable. The bass shot does have some less than fun verses though, which did hurt the score a bit, but I give Testify by Rage Against the Machine a total score of a very good 7 out of 10. But that's all for today's video, if you did enjoy it then make sure to like and subscribe. Tell us your thoughts of this DLC single in the comments, and check out the description for the link to my Twitch channel if you want to watch me play some games. Also check out some of our other videos here, and thank you as always for your continued support. See you tomorrow with a review of Alive.